students so welcome to all of you in this session and uh, in this session i'll be discussing with you the kernel and their types uh, first of all uh, let us know what the kernel is basically as i have already discussed with you that when we are discussing the operating system say for the example this is the hardware or the machine over which this part is known as basically the OS that is operating system and above that we do have the application programs using which various users various users interact with the system this operating system basically consists of two parts one being known as kernel and the upper part is known as shell so shell is nothing but a command line interface using which we can manipulate or which can call the kernel the kernel gets the job done or executed by the hardware here the application program using the application program the users can gives the instruction to the machine so user will interact with the operating system with the help of application program the application program may call the shell shell may call the kernel and from kernel uh, the kernel will directly interact with the hardware so kernel is nothing but a collection of low level programs which can directly interact with the hardware to get the jobs done as per the user directions so today i'll be discussing uh, with you the what is kernel and what are various types of kernel so kernel is a computer program uh, that's at the core of the computer operating system that is the core of the computer operating system a kernel is a software that stays in memory and sends instructions to the cpu and other hardwares directly it is responsible for managing the computer's hardware and operations including memory and cpu time the kernel also prevents and resolves conflicts between different processes it acts as an intermediary between applications and hardware allowing applications to run without needing to know how the underlying hardware works basically so uh, i have already told you that kernel allows the application program to directly interact with the hardware uh, with its uh, with kernel as an interface here the applications programs are basically written in high level languages so but the machine or the hardware understands the uh, machine language row level programs basically so directly the application programs uh, don't interact with the hardware but in between it is the operating system and it is the part of the operating system which is known as kernel that basically directly interacts with the hardware to get your job done basically <coughs> so this is how the kernel operates the kernel is named after a seed inside a hard shell because it exists within the operating system and controls all the major hardware functions some example of kernels include zircon linux and windows nt as i have already told you that uh, depending on the architecture of the kernel we do have various kinds of kernel say for the example it is known as monolithic kernel another type of kernel are known as micro kernel nano kernel exo kernel and hybrid kernels we will see uh, one by one various types of kernels so first of all we will see monolithic type of kernel a monolithic kernel is a computer operating system architecture where the entire operating system runs in kernel space it is the most common type of kernel and is responsible for managing the system's resources between the system application and the hardware the kernel and user services are implemented and run in the same address space it directly communicates with and controls the hardware it offers services like cpu scheduling device management file management memory management and process management so here you can see in the attached figure you can see here the application program and the blue part basically 
is the operating system or you can call it the kernel the whole operating system is built in that that is known as the monolithic architecture and the kernel in turn uh, interacts with the hardware maybe cpu maybe memory or maybe other devices uh, unix including linux ms dos and windows uh, 9x are examples of operating system that use monolithic kernel monolithic kernels are easy to design and implement and process execution is faster if one component fails the entire system will crash in case of kernel because it is monolithic in terms of architecture if some, something goes wrong within the kernel means the whole operating system will be affected uh, it can also be difficult to port code written in this operating system and it can be challenging to manage and debug due to its monolithic architecture another type of kernel uh, which is prevalent is known as micro kernel a micro kernel is a computer operating system's core that provides the bare minimum functionality required to implement an operating system it's often abbreviated as micro kernel a micro kernel's core functions include memory management process management inter process communication other components like drivers and applications are plugged in into the micro kernel as a standalone piece of code these components can enhance the core functionality or provide additional features so here you can see uh, applications are there using api call we can handle various kinds of dll file or exe files uh, which is known as system calls they call various components of the operating system which directly interacts with the hardware another type of kernel is known as nano kernel a nano kernel is a type of operating system architecture that provides the minimum services needed for a system to function it is designed to be small fast and efficient and is often used in systems with limited resources nano kernel are small in size consisting of only a few thousand lines of code it provides a minimal set of services such as low level hardware management functions nano kernels are designed to be portable so they can run on different hardware architectures nano kernels have a smaller attack surface which can improve security nano kernels are highly efficient and secure especially in embedded and real time environments the term nano kernel was coined by jonathan s shapiro in his paper the key cos nano kernel architecture another type of kernel is known as hybrid kernel a hybrid kernel as the name suggests is a type of operating system kernel that combines aspect of both micro kernel as well as monolithic kernel architecture hybrid kernels are designed to combine the best features of both types of kernel such as speed the speed of monolithic kernel and modularity the modularity of micro kernels so the best feature of both uh, micro kernel and monolithic monolithic kernels are used in hybrid kernel to make the system more efficient hybrid kernels are used in most commercial operating systems some example of operating system that uses hybrid kernels are windows nt bos mac os x windows 2000 windows 7 windows xp win vista and netware hybrid kernels include some additional code in kernel space to improve system performance hybrid kernels enable faster development for third party software most hybrid kernels start as monolithic kernel and then move components into user land to support third party components and drivers the last type of kernel which we will discuss over here is known as exo kernels so exo kernel is a type of operating system architecture that gives application direct access to hardware resources it is designed to maximize the performance and efficiency by reducing the abstraction layer between application and hardware it is much smaller than the typical monolithic kernel it exposes the hardware resources directly to applications and it is designed for application level resource management uh, exo kernels allow application to implement their own abstraction and management policies it provides application with better control and flexibility it reduces the number of unnecessary actions performed by kernel 